Yes, Congress took steps this week to address the future of DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Southern Arizona Representative Martha McSally, along with three other House Republicans, introduced a bill that deals with DACA and other immigration issues. DACA allows undocumented people in the U.S. who came here as children to work and go to school without fear of deportation. About 30,000 people in Arizona have DACA status. The new bill would extend how long that status lasts from two years to three before it needs to be renewed. Recipients would have to go back to their home countries if they wanted to apply for a green card. President Donald Trump said he would end the program March 5th and that he hoped Congress would reach a solution before then. On Tuesday, though, a federal judge said DACA must continue while it makes its way through a legal challenge. Before all that, Nancy Montoya asked two families what DACA's potential end could mean for them and their children. In both cases, at least one parent has DACA status. How do you tell a two-year-old born in this country that one day his mom may just be gone? More than anything, I fear that day, says 31-year-old Karina Solis. Her son, two-year-old David, has no idea that right now politicians he will never meet are deciding the future of his family. But his sister, eight-year-old Stephanie, and his big brother, 14-year-old Jose, do. I don't know where I'm going to end up. I don't know where I'm going to go with her because I was born here or if I'm just going to stay here and I don't know where they're going to put me. It's going to be hard for me to live without my mom and my parents. It's just going to be bad. All three Solis children are American citizens. Their father is undocumented, but their mother has DACA status. That means that for now, she can live and work legally in the U.S. She cleans houses and offices for a living. And because of DACA, she was able to buy a house. But the stability DACA has provided her American-born children may change. Karina Solis has only one year left on her DACA status. If Congress fails to act, she will be eligible for immediate deportation. If they deport my parents and they take me with them, I'm not going to fit in. Have you ever even been to Mexico? No. I've never been. Now an outspoken opponent to DACA is Daniel Stein of the far-right group FAIR, Federation for American Immigration Reform. Been around since 1979. FAIR has over almost two million members and supporters and activists around the country at this point. FAIR has openly challenged the passage of any kind of a law that will allow DACA individuals like the mother of the Solis children to earn a pathway to citizenship. On C-SPAN last week, he called DACA a PR stunt by the Democratic Party meant to pull on heartstrings. And um, now, suddenly we're all being told there's this crisis where you have to fix DACA. And the Democrats are saying, okay, we want Trump to sign a bill that gives everybody amnesty, but Trouble is, we're not willing to give Trump a single thing that he wants, maybe a few bucks on the border, but not a single thing that Trump campaigned on. And that's why we're probably not going to see major legislation of a bipartisan nature in 20, 2018. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Karina Reese refuses to believe that. As the president of the Arizona Dreamers Coalition, she is advocating for families like the Solises and for herself. I am a human being. I am a mother. And at the age of 33, Karina Reese is one of the oldest DACA members in Arizona. She too has three American-born children. 15-year-old Jesus is the oldest. His mother, he says, is his hero. She graduated from ASU in biochemistry, and that's something that's very incredible for a person that was undocumented. She's contributed ever since she got here, I would say, working hard in school, not knowing the language. She dreamed of being a scientist. Instead, she became a DACA advocate. I decided I have to sacrifice my career because I have to fight to stay in this beautiful country with my family. 
The Solis and Riz families are in limbo. And while we know there are more than 800,000 individuals in the U.S. with DACA status, we don't know how many of them have American-born children. However, research from the Stanford University Immigration Policy Lab found that around 4 million children born in the United States have at least one parent who is in the U.S. without proper documents. Those researchers determined that regardless of the politics, the fear of separation is a significant source of stress, anxiety, and crippling depression for many of these children. My biggest fear is that who's going to who's going to teach him good from from bad? Who's going to who's going to guide them? Who's going to make him a good citizen? It is nobody else's responsibility but mine.